Hey guys, welcome back. I'm recording today in a whole new area of my house. This is actually now in my basement instead of on my second floor. I've got a new lighting setup, which you'll see is actually pointed this way instead of down from the front this way. I also have a more rigid camera setup, so sometimes my old videos you'd see the camera shake. Shouldn't be a problem here. I was all happy and ready to show you guys something I find really cool, these magnetic reed switches. So a magnetic reed switch is a switch that is normally open, but once you wave a magnet around it, the contacts close up, completing your circuit. I got this set here, well, ten of these, for about a dollar off AliExpress. So when I say I was excited to show you guys this, it's because these things aren't really that great. As you can see here, as I continue to try to hold this still over razor-thin focus, the casing is made out of glass. And inside of that glass you have the two little contacts which are spread apart just a very little bit and when you wave a magnet around it they come together. Now the problem with this glass case is that it's really brittle and since you see there's leads this is technically a through hole component so naturally you'd probably want to bend the leads, right? Well that's how this happens. So you'll see there's only one contact and only one leg on this switch. That's because the other half is broken right out of that tube. Just the smallest bending actually broke this. I even have another one which uh, I tried to solder wires to to bring it further away from any metallic sources which also broke even though this one still works that would be this one here. If you can see on the bottom there the glass is chipped even though the bend is quite a distance away from the body. That's not the worst of the issues on these things. Um, here I have one hooked up to my multimeter in continuity mode. If I bring my magnet nearby you can hear see it seems to work. But if I come this way I come this way, you see it doesn't work quite the same. It's very direction sensitive, so that's another problem. But I've had some of these which stopped working completely because I had saturated them with the magnetism and they would be stuck together. There were some even where I had bent the leads too much and the contacts inside stopped touching. But as you can see, I get almost down touching it before it works in that direction, but I'm miles away this direction to have it work. So not very easy to use. So here I have set up a uh, white LED, 150 ohm resistor, and a one of those magnetic reed switches. Now this is the one that has the broken glass, but it should still work and to prove that the circuit is at least functioning you can go and just touch this down there there we go the lights turning on so that is the positive side of the um, circuit here just actually in this red rail if I move it right there so that should work the other hand here I'm gonna bring my magnet in and hold this now this is a little difficult because these leads are magnetic but let me bring this in and see we actually get it to work which is great news but you'll see depends on the angle sometimes you could be right over it and it still won't work see that I'm like millimeters from it there. Works there. So it really depends. Your mileage may vary, but for me I find these things not quite reliable enough to get functioning right. So overall, what do I think about these magnetic reed switches? Well, 
if you're okay with messing around with your circuit to make sure it works, I'd say, yeah, go ahead with get these for 10 cents a pop or whatever. Uh, for me, though, this is a bit too finicky and uh, too direction specific. So I think I'll be ordering a couple different read switches from AliExpress and see if I end up with different results. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you're saying, well, you only paid a buck for 10, so what did you expect? Well, I'll tell you that most of the things on this bench came from AliExpress and they were a dollar or less. And I really have had negative experiences with very few things, so I had uh, high hopes for these things. But for now, my verdict is a solid maybe. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you feel like seeing more videos like this, hit the subscribe. And maybe share your experiences with uh, these kinds of switches in the comments below. Thanks for watching.